Granger. Thank you. Uh, what I'm what I'm seeing is uh, what I was hoping to hear are important changes and lessons learned and where we go fr from here. What I'm hearing is the same old stuff and pointing fingers and it looks like protecting jobs. And having faced something as serious as we faced and know that this could happen again, this is very, very disappointing at the least and frightening at the most. Um, and it seems as if, particularly in the communication, in the days leading up to the 6th or whatever, then we have a system that failed at every level. And even at the time when we were seeing very, very serious, dangerous things happening and we were watching or participating in the case of members of Congress, um, I think that, that this has to be looked at and go back and have proof of the communication and then why in the world could action not be taken at that time when there was time to do something. I, I would also like having sat through uh, the uh, another um, meeting where we listened testimony, I would like the, the testimony at the other proceedings of the acting chief and the testimony today in a comparison of how the explanations have changed. I think we've got a lot of work to do uh, on this committee but I think we have to start with um, looking at the system and saying what should happen and who should have the authority to say, yes, we must have uh, extra help right now immediately, or no can say, no, you can't have that, because that happened all up and down, and I think we really need to understand that uh, before we meet again. Thank you. No more questions. No. Ma'am, ma I agree that, that uh, there needs to be uh, a more robust communication, um, both leading up to an event uh, as well as during an event. Um, as, as, we, as we move into the communication realm, uh, we tend to, to send out very uh, short, concise, non-transparent messaging for fear of sending out incorrect messaging. Um, that was something that was obviously apparent on the sixth, and that needs to change. Um, and I talked, I talked about that at the uh, appropriations briefing, and I've asked my staff uh, to work on that because in a in a big event like that, we have to give you more information, not less. Um, the canned messaging may be good if there is a barrier that doesn't go down, and you need to to go in through another entrance, but not when it's a not when it's a considerable life safety event. You need to have the information available to be able to, to make the best decision to protect yourself. And I, and I agree with you that that needs to be looked at and corrected. And if I could echo, Mr. In some situations, the, uh, I know in my situation, I was Hill House and I was quarantined. And so we were, of course, under threat of a, a bomb. So we ran out in the street. And then what happens out in the street? I had a situation where a police officer recognized me and said, where can you go to be safe? And I couldn't go back to where I lived. So he helped me get to where my, my office was. We got inside the building, but the security person said, no, she's not allowed to go in her own office and be locked in her office to stay safe. So there was, there was a, a communication problem from the lowest level to the top level of what is important, what is immediate, and who has the, uh, the authority. Yes, ma'am, I agree. Um, Capitol Police is acknowledging that there are numerous lessons to be learned uh, from the top down. We are leaning forward. Uh, we're actively working with the task force that the speaker has um, at the request of Lieutenant uh, General Russell Honore. So we're leaning forward uh, with those recommendations. Really conducting several assessments from the Office of the Inspector General, our own internal assessments, but really acknowledging what can we do in the short term, 
to acknowledge those failures and make sure that those things don't happen again. And then leaning forward to say, what are those long-term projections that we can uh, implement over time as it relates to training, uh, policies and procedures, uh, equipment and things of that nature. We put a number of requests in the FY22 budget so that we can ensure that our officers have the proper tools and resources needed so that something like January 6th never happens again. Uh, we are leaning forward to improve our communications, not only with internally with our officers and leadership, we've also leaned forward. And I think that Mr. Blodgett and I recognize the failures of the previous uh, Capitol Police Board as it relates to communications. And we have a robust communications. Tim and I talk uh, daily, multiple times a day. So we acknowledge that there are a lot of things that should have been done differently, but this is an opportunity for us to make change and we're making that happen. Thanks, Ms. Granger. I mean, that, that's the question, uh, Chief Pittman, that I was getting to about, about the, 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 the training and particular training. Now you have, here you have uh, the ranking member of the, uh, you know, appropriations committee and the officers weren't properly trained to be able to even know where to take her in that situation. And that we, we find that unacceptable. 